Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Valerie and today I have an interesting tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to make a belt skirt. You have probably seen it on some celebrities or at fashion shows. It's kind of a trend now, but I think such a skirt is quite expensive. So I decided to make it myself. I have thrifted a lot of belts, eight pieces to be more precise, and now I want to show you how I made the skirt. It's so simple, then you can easily sew yourself the same skirt. So, let's get into it! So all you need to sew the skirt is some fabric. I have a B-flex, you can take any other fabric. The only thing that matters is that the fabric should be stretchy. You will also need a fabric for belt loops. It may be the same fabric from which the skirt will be made. But I decided to make belt loops from faux leather, so they will match the belts. I have these pieces of leather that were left after sewing pants, so I will use them to make bell loops. I try never to throw away the remnants of the fabric, because then they can be useful for such things. And it's also eco-friendly. And of course, we need belts. The number of belts depends on the length of the skirt you want and the width of the belts. I have 8 belts and it will be a 30 cm long skirt. First of all, we need to make a pattern for the skirt. To make a pattern, we will need the parameters of the waist and hip circumference. We draw a straight line. This will be the length of the skirt. I have 30 cm plus seam allowances on each side of 1.5 cm. It turns out 33 cm. From the top point, we draw a line equal to the waist circumference divided by 4 plus 3 cm. Don't worry that the waist will be too wide. It will be tightened with a belt. From the waistline down, we put off 20 cm. This will be the hip line. Draw a line equal to the circumference of the hips divided by 4. Draw a line of the same length from the bottom point. Then we connect all the points. We divide the line between the points of the hips and waist in half. From the resulting point, we put 1 cm up and connect all the points with a smooth line. And our pattern is done. Now we transfer the pattern to the fabric and cut it out. We align the two pieces right sides together and pin them. We make an overlock or a zigzag stitch. I'm also using the overlocker to finish the edges of the skirt. Now we bend the edge of a skirt and make a straight stitch. We do it from two sides. And our skirt is done. Now we move on to the belt loops. First we need to calculate how many belt loops we need. I have 8 belts. For each belt I need 4 loops. 2 in front, 2 in back. It turns out that I need to make 32 belt loops. I'm drawing a rectangle 3 cm wide and 10 cm long. Then I cut it out. In order not to create extra thickness, I glue the sides of a rectangle to the middle using adhesive tape for leather, instead of folding several times. Now we need to secure this with two stitches. I'm changing my regular foot to a Teflon one. I also put a needle for the leather. I make stitches on both sides, 3 mm from the edge. Here's what I got. In the same way I make 31 more loops. It can be time consuming, but I think the result is definitely worth it. 
Now we need to sew the belt loops to the skirt. First, we need to mark where they will be located. To do this, divide the skirt in half, and then divide the resulting parts in half again. Now I divide the skirt into 8 rows. Each row, except the top two, will be 4 cm wide. The top two rows will be 3 cm wide, because there will be narrow belts. From the received points, I put aside 2 cm to the sides and make marks. I will sew the belt loops in a staggered order, so that they do not interfere with each other. This is how it should look like. Now we just need to insert the belts into the belt loops and our skirt is done. Thank you guys so much for watching, write in the comments if you liked this video and let me know what do you think about this trend with clothes made of belts. Would you wear such things? I would like to know your opinion. You can also write what tutorials you would like to see in the next videos. Bye!